Hi guys and welcome to the best possible Germany team available to you on FIFA 17 Ultimate Team. It's an insane team, it features some awesome, awesome players and others which look awesome but are in fact absolutely shit. It happens, it happens in FIFA guys, sometimes a player looks awesome but then doesn't play well. This guy looks awesome because of his card colour. But in fact, he's just a bog standard average player. And uh, we'll get to that in a second. So if you guys do want the MSP, uh, PSN codes or cheat game codes, guys, go out and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. If we can try and hit over 5,000 likes for the best possible Germany team, that'd be awesome. And guys, subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. So with it being Germany, guys, uh, we are going to have Jurgen Klopp as the manager. I'm a Liverpool fan. I think he's one of the best managers around. And uh, that's why he does start off. So we're going to jump in, guys, into the goalkeeper position. It has a lot of uh, different cards does this team uh, not as much as the germany team uh, as the brazil team but definitely uh, a nice amount the first one uh, being team of the year neuer 98 rating 96 diving 97 handling 99 kicking 99 reflexes 99 positioning and uh, you can see guys i played 280 games with him i think he's absolutely brilliant um and i've used his normal card a shit ton as well uh, but this card just pulls off absolutely mental saves compared to that other card now in the center back position on the left on the middle guys go the slowest of the three center backs which is going to be matt Hummels. Uh, I packed his one to watch card. I don't think I barely played with it. 17 games, two assists uh, and one yellow card. He has got 66 pace. I thought he would have been up by a, by a lot by now, but he hasn't. 82 passing, 85 um, physical, 92 defending and 80 dribbling. Not a bad player and uh, six... six foot free as well. Uh, dribbling's a little bit high. They must have upped that, guys, when he dropped all that coffee all over his lap the other day, you know? Um, in the right back, right centre-back position, guys, we do go over the 90-rated uh, Jerome Boateng uh, from Bayern Munich. He's actually got a downgrade card in FIFA you guys may know about as well. 89-rated um he got downgraded by EA Sports for absolutely no fucking reason. Uh, only reason I can think of is they don't like Bayern Munich because he got downgraded even though he was out injured and uh, didn't really perform uh, during the times which we saw. So EA downgraded him from a 90 to an 89. And the only be only people it fucked, guys, was the people who actually pack the 89-rated Boateng. Now, in the left centre-back position, we have uh, Beckenbauer. 82 pace, 79 dribbling, 94 defending, 83 passing, 81 physical. He's not a bad um, defender. If he was a centre mid, he'd be absolutely insane. Um, a lot of people rock him in the weekend league. I've come up against him a few times. Even some of the pros put him in there as well. Uh, he is obviously 5 foot 11, high medium work rates, free star skills, free star weak foot, um, and reasonably paced. But 94 defending is absolutely awesome. I paid just over 950k for him. And as his price decided to trip on up, um, it doesn't look like much. But I'm going to hold on to him anyway. Yeah, who knows? You may even see me use him in a couple of weeks' time, guys. In the centre midfield position, we have a team of the year to start off with, guys, which is going to be team of the year, Tony Cruz. 60 pace, 88 dribbling, 90 shooting, 98 passing, 80 defending, and 80 physical. Absolutely awesome card, but his stamina is absolutely atrocious. Um, but individually, he's all right. Uh, just his stamina. His long shots and free kicks are insane, uh, but his stamina is a massive factor. Next to him, guys, we have the legend, which is Mateus, who I've played stupid amounts of games with, guys. 452, 62 goals, 70 assists, and uh, two yellow cards, four-star weak foot, three-star skill moves, 86 pace, 86 shooting, 86 passing, 77 dribbling, 88 defending, and 82 physical. Five foot nine as well. Um, I absolutely love this card, and I don't think I've played that much with him recently. Uh, I don't know if he's a lot cheaper than he was when I paid for him. He's about 100 100k um, to 200k cheaper. Uh, but still a really, really good card to have in the club. In the left midfield position, guys, we have an inform Marco Royce, 91 pace, 89 dribbling, 87 shooting, 88 passing, 70 physical, 4 star skills, and uh, I think also... If we can get onto it, uh, four star skill, four star weak foot, right footed as well. So very, very good at cutting in on the left hand side uh, onto his right foot and levering him in. But wasted in the left midfield position, as I always do say, guys, when we were fast players uh, in there, because more than likely in this formation, they're going to end up defending a lot. Which takes me onto the right midfield position, because this position I don't mind um, for a player, but it's. It's all right if it's a defensive-minded player, which we do have. He's not very defensive-minded, but he still does the job anyway. It is the red in for Muller um, that we obviously were lucky enough to pack uh, through foot champions. 79 pace, 87 shooting, 80 passing, 80 dribbling, 50 defending, 75 physical. But saying that he's got low defending, it doesn't matter because it's, he seems to help out in defence anyway and uh, is an all right player. I've not come up against him in the weekend league either, um, but he's just really a placeholder in my uh, foot champions cards that I do have in there. Now... To be honest, guys, you've basically seen the main players of the team, like the really good players. We're going to put a 90-rated Mesut Ozil in there, 73 pace and uh, 80 shooting, 90 passing, 89 dribbling and 66 physical. But 
Mesut Ozil, in the four games they played, got four goals and four assists, which you wouldn't expect, considering he got two strikers in the team. Mesut Ozil, is he tall? Six foot. He's reasonably tall. Medium, low work rates. Left footed. Two star weak foot. Uh, four star skill moves. 90 passing, 80 shooting. And that's really it. Not much pace. High dribbling as well. Um, he's an alright player, but he had to carry, which is unfortunate. So this team, up until this point, is absolutely brilliant. Then we get to the attackers. In the striker position, guys, we have an 80, 86-rated Stindl. I don't know, uh, Podolski's there for the discard value. Um, but Stindl is 86-rated. He jumps on in there. Look at his stats. 75 pace, 90 shooting, 85 passing, 87 dribbling, 80, 81 physical. And then next to him is another legend, which is Bierhoff. Now, if you compare compare the stats of these two players so if we can you compare so if you look at them cards guys Stindl costs about 40,000 coins Bierhoff costs in the region of 115,000 coins uh, if you discard him he sell he discards for 105k but think about the tax of EA Sports he's a discard legend you can see Stindl uh, 90 shooting compared to Bierhoff's 83 85 passing compared to Bierhoff's 62 87 dribbling compared to Bierhoff's 73 and 81 physical compared to um, Stindl uh, sorry Bierhoff's 74 and uh, Bierhoff has one extra pace than him but He's an 87 rated card, which takes me on to a few decisions which you guys really need to make when purchasing of Legends. We mentioned it in the Foot Champions videos as well. Make sure you go on Foothead and Footways, check out the in-game stats of these players and see if they're going to be worth the money that you're going to plough into the players and they're going to make the difference. Because Bierhoff, I would never, ever, ever recommend anyone buying Bierhoff because it is such a waste of money, even though you can pay 115k for like we just did and uh, he discards for 104. But his price is not going up it's going down in fact and there's a lot of play a lot of cards there actually which have uh, a little bit higher but um 115k and i'm just going to keep him in the club guys because if i don't ever need the coins i can just discard and offload him but um this strike force was an absolute uh, atrocious i think one goal scored in three games by uh, Bierhoff. every shot he took was garbage apart from one which he scored and stindle three games two goals two assists which is not that bad either so not a bad team um i'm happy with it i don't know if you guys what will would be if you had this team in front of you but the Attackers like Werner, like if you look at the special cards, guys, that we do, still do have um, on the bench for Germany, there is a lot. There's like Bremer, there's Podolski. I'd rather play Podolski up front than uh, um, than. Bierhoff, and I don't really like Bierhoff. We've got Farman, we've got Draxler as well. A few versions of Draxler, Howardes, um, Castro. There's a lot of players, guys. And even we've got the Reading form Werner. Is it Werner or Werner? Um, that we do have in the team as well. Uh, yeah, and I'd much rather play him up front, you know. And uh, you've got likes of Emre Cham. Uh, a lot of these players don't make it into the team. But not a bad uh, Germany team anyway. Um, I'm not happy with the attack, but the rest of the team is absolutely awesome. So, guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, rate, and subscribe if you're not. And we'll be back again with another video for you guys to enjoy. So, moving on into the clips with the team, guys. I was instantly disappointed by um, Bierhoff. Not a fan of him. I've used him before in draft. If you guys have watched my draft videos, you'll have seen me use um, Bierhoff one time. And he just is an absolutely garbage striker. And the only reason I say he's garbage is because he, do he lives nowhere up to the 87 mated version which you have just gone and purchased or even trying out you know so if you ever do come across him in draft really recommend avoiding him um, and if you pack him definitely get rid of him as well guys and don't use him because he's just going to put you at a disadvantage on the other hand Stindl impressed a little bit but work rates do screw him up a, a tad bit as well. Now, I paid 44k for him. His price is around the same price now actually looking. Um, and would be probably suited to the uh, centre forward role or, or cam position better than a striker. Um, but because we had Ozil in the team, who is an absolutely st a steal as well. 219k pay, guys. And I really enjoyed Ozil this time round of using him. But I think it was only because of the fact that um, Bierhoff was letting me down so much. Um, but apart from that... The attack is alright, but it makes you try hard to get the fucking goals, I'll tell you that for free. Now, when it moves to centre midfield, Mateus, brilliant card guy, 62 goals, 70 assists in 450 odd games. I'm happy with that. Cruz has got an awesome long shot, which you guys will see coming up in these clips as well. Uh, Muller didn't do anything uh, apart from really add to the defence, which I definitely did need uh, because it was uh, free at the back formation. Marco Royce, not bad at going forward. Obviously fast as shit. Uh, more suited to the left wing, left forward position, definitely, because he's got a very good finish. I, you see me use him in draft as well. I think he's a tidy player and uh, definitely did have a lot of fun with him. This is one of the nice goals, guys, which is from Tony Cruz. It levers it into the top corner. 
and I don't think that was his only goal that he did score, which was a nice one either. Now we move to the centre-backs. Now, Hummels ha actually is a player which I've seen used quite a lot in the foot champions. Um, 66 pace, uh, still needs up in a, a tad bit, you know, but we're getting close to team of the season now. Let's just hope he doesn't spill coffee on himself and uh, burns him and gets him out injured, you know. And if you guys haven't seen that clip, really recommend going to look on Matt Hummels' Twitter page. As you can see, him make a boo-boo and uh, spill coffee all over his suit. Boateng got a fucking massively deserved downgrade for no reason in my eyes. Um, he's a 90 rated player he is brilliant he was out injured yet EA decided to throw a downgrade on him to an 89 which is absolutely pointless and the only reason the only people it actually fucks is the people who actually pat Boateng now and uh, he goes for a lot less than the 90 rated card Beckenbauer we paid 954,000 coins for like I said he is probably more suited to the um more suited to the CDM position if you guys ever get the chance to use him I, I enjoyed using him in the centre back position but he's a little bit small for me, uh, he is uh, 5 foot 11 for a centre back, high attacking work rates, medium defensive and right footed, uh, probably actually should have swapped Boateng and Beckenbauer around actually thinking about it, um, and Neuer I could spend ages talking about Neuer guys but the only way you can really experience how good he is, is by playing a long duration of games with him and see what saves he does make, now I've used Neuer's normal card all the way up until team of the year and that te this team of the year card is just absolutely insane it pulls off some ridiculous saves it makes the same mistakes as uh, your common keeper will but not as many in my opinion there's some shots and I know I've played Gorilla a few times and literally Neuer has kept me in it a lot of the times so I really um, really do enjoy him and trust him as well in the goalkeeper position that was the I think that was the only goal I scored with Beerhoff. it was a nice goal don't get me wrong but I think anyone could have done that in, in my opinion but that has been the best possible Germany team available to you on FIFA 7 Ultimate Team. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please leave a like rating on it. Subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. And if you guys did miss the best possible team on FIFA 17, which we uploaded on Tuesday, feel free to go and have a look around on the channel, guys. Go and find it and uh, go and see if any of these players do make it into that team.